Good evening, family. This is Miss Norma. I pray everyone is well and um, that your day, whether it was sun shining or raining, you had sunshine on the inside. You had sunshine up here. And even though a storm may have been brewing, the Lord blessed you with peace. Amen. August the 16th, forgiving our family. Matthew 18, verses 21 and 22. Let's pray. Abba Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord, and bless your name. It's so good to be able, Lord, to get a scripture in us every day, Lord, to trust you more and more every day, and to say thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Forgiving our family. Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Have mercy. Matthew 18, 21 to 22. This journey here on earth is difficult and God created family to help and support each other along the way. Having said that, no family is perfect because humans are not perfect. Unfortunately, nearly everyone at some point will betray, hurt, or disappoint a family member. In some cases, for your mental health, it becomes necessary to distance yourself from them. But in all cases, God requires you to forgive. Now that doesn't mean that he expects you to be the best of friends and hang out. But the Bible does say that unless we forgive others, he will not forgive us. It's very clear that without forgiveness, there is no hope of eternal life. Is anger and revenge really worth missing out on heaven? Instead of harboring bitterness, ask God to put forgiveness in your heart and let him judge the ones who caused your pain. When you release the anger and truly forgive, you will no longer, hallelujah, be dragged down by the weight of guilt. Amen. Instead, you'll feel as if you are walking on air and your heart will be rejoicing and singing praises to God. Amen. Forgiving our family. I tell you, it is, it's a hard journey, but when you go through the experience and you really let go and not hold on with, I can forgive, but I can't forget, there is a freedom that comes that literally you will feel the weight fall off of you. I know one time I spent 21 years being angry, angry for 21 years. By year 19, I had got tired and I asked the Lord, to take it away and he did it took two more years in the 21st year in June of 2021 you know that song take the shackles off my feet so I can dance the shackles fell off from around my ankles when I stood up from this very table that I'm sitting at right now, nope, it wasn't this one, it was another one. But when I stood up from the table, I felt light. And I thanked the Lord and he said to me, you don't have to eat out of this plate anymore. I said, I don't Lord. He said, no, you could have got up a long time ago, but you had to go through this process. And with that in mind, you know, this brain in my head, it just questions everything. But it was the best 
experience in terms of experience to forgive someone um, it, it was a wonderful feeling and you know what I'm still free and I thank the Lord for that and you know when you when you let it go and you let God your heart can be open for other things and um, or sometimes other people whatever it is in your life but holding on to or not forgiving someone or yourself I'm telling you it's a cancer that will eat you up from the inside out it will stunt your growth spiritually mentally and emotionally so tonight this evening good afternoon oh Abba Father forgiveness forgiveness of ourselves forgiveness towards others Lord father bless us with your freedom today I know some may not understand it and maybe some people been living with the pain of it for so long they don't know how to function but Lord you know how to loose them up here and when they get loosed up here they'll feel that light feeling the weight of the guilt of the sin of the unforgiveness will be gone so Abba Father as you look at your children that come here and hear this story Lord Abba Father bless them and release them Father in the name of Jesus Lord knock on that door and Father let them open it up and taste and see just how good it is to walk and to be unshackled from the things that have us bound up and holding us down, Lord. Not escaping from anything, but open the door and walking out. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, blessing and healing to all of our land. Oh, Lord, you're still good. You're still good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, family. Blessing and healing to all of our land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is Miss Norma signing off. Have a blessed day, a blessed morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. And by his grace, I will see you all on our next reading for August the 17th, entitled Fully Satisfied. Amen. I love you, but remember that the greatest love of all is that of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Good night, family.